Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ibrahim Wardi. I teach uh, the course on Islamic banking and finance. Um, the, the, the industry, the Islamic banking and finance industry, is worth about $3 trillion right now and is dominant in many Islamic countries, among them uh, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, uh, Malaysia, etc. And uh, the course uh, that I teach uh, is not exclusively about the business side of, uh, of Islamic finance. Obviously, we'll be talking about how the Islamic banking and finance industry came about in the 1970s, how it evolved and where it stands today. But in addition to the purely business aspects of Islamic finance, uh, the course also deals with issues of economic development, of ethics, of politics, and uh, other uh, related aspects of, of the industry. Uh, a typical question I get is uh, if there are any prerequisites, and the, the answer is no. Uh, because basically I will start from the beginning and uh, the course doesn't assume any prior knowledge or, or experience. Um, the, given that the course is going to be all remote, uh, one advantage is that we'll be able to get a number of guest speakers from different parts of the world. Um, there will be a mix of uh, synchronous and asynchronous uh, lectures and there'll be plenty of room for class discussions. Uh, as far as the requirements for the course, uh, there, there's uh, going to be some readings, not, uh, not a whole lot of readings, uh, and uh, the requirements are basically to take a midterm uh, and then a research paper. And the research paper, uh, about 12 pages or so, uh, is, uh, can cover any aspect of uh, Islamic finance. So it can be uh, business oriented. It can look, let's say, at Sukuk, which are the Islamic bonds that are very popular these days. Uh, it can uh, look also at the political context. Uh, it can refer to the possibility of terrorist financing through Islamic finance. And um, typically in previous years, lots of students would focus on specific parts of the world uh, and the state of Islamic finance in those uh, regions. So that's it. I hope to see you uh, remotely uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays from uh, 12 to 1.15, I guess. Okay, thank you.